Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Star Raptor in the Ultra League. Let's have a little fun here. We got a couple Ultra Premieres and then we're going to be going into Open Ultra as this is going to be two different days of battles put together here. We're going to be pairing it up with Skeledurge and we do have Shadow Glade on the team which is going to be swapped out here in a bit for Cresselia as we do go into the Open Ultra League here. So picking Pokemon that you personally like is... I mean, I'm sure there's meta Pokemon that a lot of you do like uh, as far as the main series goes or just in general for these Pokemon. But uh, a lot of us are kind of forced to just pick some of these Pokemon that are just strictly meta. And you may not have an attachment to them or whatever the case may be. But personally for myself, I like using Pokemon that I personally like. Even if they're ranked 500 or something, we will still try to make it work. And if we don't, then well, it is what it is. And the battles that we pulled off, we'll take a look at and see what we had going on there. Uh, but it's just a damn shame that so many people have to and are forced to pick this meta. Uh, I mean, we're still waiting for a new kind of format. I don't know if they'll ever bring it to Pokemon Go, but a pick six uh use three type of format would be amazing uh where you would be going into a battle we've talked about this before it's not like this is some sort of a new concept but uh, like much like the main series games when you battle somebody online you have six pokemon a full team that's what it consists of right we'll get into the commentary in a bit and then you see your opponent's team your opponent sees your team you pick three pokemon you go into battle that's a lot more uh, even as far as the matchup is concerned and not being completely thrown off by something that's just going to shut you down completely. Uh, when you see their team, you can pick Pokemon accordingly. And if you get screwed over, well, that's just the way it goes. That's just unfortunate. But I do believe something needs to change here. And if you're thinking, well, that'll probably take way too much time to pick six Pokemon. Uh, I mean, you, you have your team. You keep consist consistently going into the battles. But how does it work? Uh, you know, you're already spending about an hour and a half doing all of your battles for the day, around an hour and a half or so, an hour and 15 minutes. Doing that is just going to increase it dramatically. Well, I'd say 20 to 30 seconds will put on a good, what is that, like four minutes or something like that, maybe even less. Uh, so it's not that bad, okay? But I'm just saying it would be nice if we could see that because that would alleviate a whole lot of this stuff here. It wouldn't take away the algorithm because they could still have their bots in place and it could just pick a team according to what you picked. And it's just, you'll never know, right? And yes, there are bots in Go Battle League, okay? There's cheating, there's all kinds of, it's just a big mess, okay? If you're thinking to yourself, how the hell did they know to not shield this and save that one Pokemon until the very end and all of a sudden they they just swap really quick because as if they knew exactly what I had. Now we can't just say, oh, everybody who does that is cheating or something. Sometimes people are just feeling up the team and they have an understanding of what type you could potentially have in the back and they're just um, preparing accordingly for whatever is in the back there. That's definitely on the option on the table for an option. I'm not trying to rule that out and make it seem like everybody's a cheater, but just know that there are those kind of things out there. Okay. This isn't some sort of a rant or anything like that tangent. I'm just explaining the situation here. Okay. But, uh, we have to deal with what we have and that is going to be pick three Pokemon and go blindly in there and be manipulated by the algorithm so let's go ahead and get into the commentary here starting it right about now leading off with that star raptor this is going to be a very good ranked one here as you did see those ivs now let's quickly talk about the new sand attack move and how star raptor has been given some love here and kind of put i want to say on a pedestal or nothing like that but they're trying to make it better at this point sort of I did receive Sand Attack. We were talking about how there's going to be a ton of Pokemon receiving that move when they do introduce it. And as a matter of fact, that's what happened. So Sand Attack over what? Wing Attack or Gust? Not so much. It's going to be a pretty decent move on some Pokemon. And I do believe some are still yet to receive it that are it's going to definitely up their game. I'm talking about like Ursaluna, right? A ground type Pokemon that needs a ground quick move. Uh, for its high horsepower to make it an official really good ground type attacker we'll have to see in the future if they do add it i'm sure that does learn that move 
But when it comes down to the sand attack, as much as I wanted to use it, I, it it's just not worth it. It's a one turn move. It has the same energy generation as wing attack, but wing attack is going to be getting stabbed in situations like this. It's just going to be much better to have wing attack as opposed to sand attack where you're not even going to be able to get stabbed. If it's quick moves were all garbage and sand attack was, you know, the prominent one, then obviously I would go with it, but it's almost better to just even go with gust. That's just my personal preference, but we are going to be going with wing attack. And of course, fly, uh, you could go brave bird and always close combat. Alrighty, so with that introduction there, six minutes in just about, let's go ahead and now start talking about this. We do have that Shadow for Alligator and Skeledurge, just too good. Just too good, an amazing Pokemon introduced right out the gate with everything that it needed. Doesn't even need Blast Burn. I've talked about this before, but I don't even know if you would want to run Blast Burn, to be honest. I feel like it would give you more coverage in the Master League, uh, where there's just a bunch of Steel types, and then you could run, I suppose, Disarming Voice for a coverage up against something else or just a move that costs less energy. But hey, we'll have to see. Down goes the Star Raptor up against the, the uh, Wall Rain here. We're gonna go ahead and go for that disarming voice. Oh, trusty Skeleturge putting in that work. Got a nice little freeze going on here and we take that win. All right, moving it on to the next game. If you can give this video a thumbs up, that'd be much appreciated, folks. All right, we do have a Polyrath. This is gonna be a pretty good lead here. Now, Star Raptor, despite it not being Shadow right now, it's still squishy. Now, Shadow Star Raptor is really fun to use. It hits everything like a truck, and it will pretty much get shields from all kinds of Pokemon, no matter what. The thing about it is it can't take a hit, and I'd rather just go with this one right now. Using the Shadow is actually really fun, but we're just gonna go ahead and roll with this one to avoid headaches here. So we're gonna go ahead and let this go. We did get both of the shields out of them. Bringing in the Gramble here. Looks like we're gonna run Gramble for a while before we do put on the Cresselia. And we have a Shadow XL Crobat. Let's see what that combat power is. Wow, okay, so that thing is maxed out. Uh, very interesting. And speaking of spice, there you go. People like this, you're, you're awesome, okay? For bringing things into Go Battle League like that, that don't even max out at 2,500, you're awesome. I wish we could encounter more trainers like that. So this Annihilate is in a very hard place here. <laughs> no more shields. And I'm like, come on, let me get them. And we are able to incinerate them down before they get to that Shadow Ball. All right, next game, we have a Flyer versus Flyer. Let's have a little fun here. Star Raptor versus Talonflame. Okay, we're gonna go straight for the Fly here. Make sure we do not allow them to sneak a quick move through. And Swap, looks like we're trying to catch. Let's see what they throw at us here. And it is gonna be a Fly, no problem. They're gonna be swapping and bringing in Giratina. We're gonna just start throwing these disarming voices here. Let's see if we can get a shield out of them. No, they let it go. Wow. Okay, we could have went for Shadow Ball, but this game is like that. It's a woulda, coulda, shoulda type of coin flip game, right? So we're going to just let it go down, and it looks like we do have Cresselia on the team. Since this thing does have Shadow Claw, we're going to go ahead and bring in Star Raptor as we do resist this, shielding it up in case we do get hit by a, I don't know, Ancient Power or something like that, but they're going for the Dragon Claw. We'll let this go. Another Dragon Claw. Farming up just one more quick move because we did reach 100 energy here. Going for the Fly. And they're using a shield here. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the same. We can't farm them down. As a matter of fact, we you know we do resist the Shadow Claw, but it is starting to add up. So we're going to almost we, well, almost build up to two. 100 energy again. We are shieldless. They swap into the Talonflame here. And we're going to go ahead and bring in the Cresselia. They go for a fly. It hardly does any damage. Now there is going to be a legacy on this Cresselia. It is going to be Grass Knot. You always want to run that, period, okay? You need it. Elite, TM it immediately, okay? If you want to run a Cresselia. So they're shieldless and they do have a Verzion in the back. All right, a Leaf Blade is going to be enough. This is getting very close, unfortunately. Oh, okay, okay, we survive it. Cresselia out here putting in that work. Let's go. This won't one-shot, but it's going to be close. So we immediately swap so they can't farm, bringing in the Talonflame, or the Talonflame, the freaking Star Raptor. And they do have that Talonflame in the back. We get off a couple of quick moves and Psycho cut them out of here with the Cresselia for an unbelievable win. Let's go. Next game, we're going to be seeing Annihilate. This is a beautiful lead here. Although we still need to look out for Ice Punch as well as the counter. It's just digging in because we are going to be part normal. And Star Raptor is just that squishy. Getting a shield out of them right away. And we are going to shield this up, period. It is going to be an Ice Punch. And we get to the next one here. We do win CMP. They got to the Ice Punch at the same time. They're going to be double shielding. And we're going to let it go. 
having your opponent have no shields versus your one is going to be a massive advantage although they are going to be able to have the swap here as seen swapping into their clissopod and locking themselves which wouldn't have been a good matchup up against their star raptors so they feel comfortable bringing it in now as they are going to be able to do super effective liquidation damage to me so i'm going to go ahead and swap into the crest here I was trying to psycho cut them down, so we're probably going to get hit by a, okay, liquidation and no, no dropping of anything. Sounds good to me. And they're bringing in their Feraligator. Going to go ahead and go for the Grass Knot, of course. And we do have the Grass Animation working again, as it was broken before, but some people wanted to tell me, no, that was the, the way it's supposed to be. You just complain too much. <laughs> Gosh, I love it. It's so crazy. So we're psycho cutting down that Annihilate there uh, and surviving the Hydro Cannon, going for the Grass Knot and taking the win with Cresselia, an absolute beast, a must have for sure in your Pokemon arsenal. Next game, we're met with a Drift Blim here. So at least we do resist the Ghost and we just have to look out for Icy Wind or Mystical Fire. And we'll let that first Icy Wind go, I do believe, or we may shield it up. Okay, we're letting it go. That yeah, makes sense, as we don't really need to worry about the quick move, right? They're not going to farm us down there. So they did drop our attack. I will shield up the next one, though. So we're going to have an attack drop by two. And all right, never mind. It's always opposite of what I say. So I immediately swap into the Skeledurge or bring it in. They swap and lock themselves with a Venusaur and they back out because they already know they lost that game. Moving it on to the next one here, met with a Skeleturge. So this is a ghost type that you don't really want to encounter because it can still just run over you because of Incinerate as well as Disarming Voice. We're going to go ahead and throw a fly. They let it go and we swap into our Skeleturge to catch a Disarming Voice. And let's go. All right. So they are going to be able to get to that Shadow Ball, but they are retreating with energy on that Skeleturge and catching a Disarming Voice with their Polyrath. Sounds good to me. Getting to the next one here, this won't be enough to quite KO, but it'll be bringing them down pretty low. Actually, that might have just done it right there. But they're shielding it up. I do believe we're going to let this go, and it is a Skull, unfortunately. I was trying to call a potential Icy win. So we're going to go ahead and bring in the Star Raptor here. And outpace them to the Fly. Let's see if they want to shield it up. And they are letting it go. Sounds good. So they have one shield left. And they do have that Skeletor's loaded up on energy. We're going to go ahead and uh, shield this up to preserve our Star Raptor. Try to farm them down, but it wasn't happening. So we swap into the Cresselia and Psycho Cut them down. And they have their own Cresselia in the back. What do you know? So it's all about, let's see, who can drop the attack first with Moonblast. And guess what? Yeah, they're going to get it on their first try. You better believe it. And my attack is now down. But the fun part is we still do have that Star Raptor in the back, which can get to fly and do quite a bit. Of, actually, we can get to a couple of flies at this point. We have a shield left and we do not need to use it going up against this Cresselia as we're just going to be able to keep absorbing these here. So I go ahead and swap so we can refresh that attack drop on the Cresselia that we did have. And unfortunately, they're going to be able to psycho cut us down. I thought I was freaking over for at this point, but we still do have a shield. They did use theirs when we did bring out that Star Raptor because we would have done a decent amount of damage with that fly. All right, so we're going to go ahead and throw that Moonblast here. And all we need to do is get to a Grass Knot, and this is going to be our game. Good game. We took that win there. Let's go. Cresselia yet again putting in that work as well as the Star Raptor too. Next game, leading with it yet again. I do believe we're going to lead with it for the entire time. Met with a Charizard here. Uh, this is no problem. All right, all right. We're going to be taking a lot of damage. I would assume they're going to try to bait me here at some point with a Dragon Claw, which we can definitely let go. And they're going to be shielding up our first fly. Sounds good to me. Cresselia doesn't really want to go up against Charizard, so we do kind of need to manage this battle. Uh, but they're going to be swapping into their own Cresselia and locking themselves there. Very good. Now, bringing in the Skeledurge, which could wall it unless they do have Future Sight. Of course, they have Future Sight. So they are down a shield. We are up two. So let's see what we can do with this whole situation here. Again, Cresselia doesn't really want to go up against Charizard. And our Star Raptor is a little bit low while that Charizard has a bunch of energy. So this is going to be interesting here. All right, they're bringing it back. Sounds good to me. I would suspect they're going to get off a Dragon Claw. There is no need to go for a Blast Burn at this point. So they're using some of that energy up. So they are to the point where we could potentially um, you know, take them out with the Cresselia. But we're going to go ahead and bring in the Star Raptor. Get the shield. Swap into the Cresselia here since our Switch Clock was up. And we're going to shield this up. Hitting me with a Dragon Claw. Dang it, unfortunately. Now, a Moonblast will... Should be enough to take out this Charizard. I know it's not very effective, but it is a Shadow... Oh, my goodness. 
and it's barely enough, but at least we're gonna be able to psycho cut them down and come out with a bunch of energy. Hopefully they have a water type in the back. It's a Scrafty, fantastic, four times weak to Moonblast. So let's go. Now we are not gonna be taken out with the foul plates, just simply not enough. We're way too tanky. Plus the quick move is gonna be resisted on the Cresselia. So yeah, surviving that easy money, going for the Grass Knot and taking the win with this team. I was having a blast with it and Psycho cutting down really quick for that win there. All right, next game. What are we going to see, folks? A Trevenant. Well, this is a fantastic matchup for you. There's nothing it can do. So they swap into their Greninja, and as soon as they do that, they just back out. I would have close combat them, bring in uh, Cresselia, and it would have been a wrap. Uh, just goes to show, you know, some people just don't care, and they already know that the games are pretty much all set. Could they have pulled it off? Absolutely, but you know what it is. All right, anyways, this opponent is going to be swapping into their Guzzlord. All right, so we're going to go for the close combat, get a shield out of them, and then bring in Cresselia. Moonblast is going to be four times effective, but they are also going to be able to hit me with that crunch, which is doing a good amount of damage, and I do believe they just dropped my defense there, so that's not good for me. They're going to be using their last shield. We do have Skeleturge, which does have a fairy move, but... I don't know about this. We're going to go ahead and shield it up. And of course, they bait me with that Dragon Claw. We could have survived it and saved that shield. That's okay. We're pretty much one-shotting them there. They're retreating and bringing in the Feraligator, but not before we get off this Grass Knot, which is going to be doing super effective damage and it's Shadow too. So let's go. Bringing in the Star Raptor to kind of just absorb this damage here. And we're looking good. Bringing in Skeleturge. Hopefully, we can farm down. And we do. And we're still holding on to our last shield. That's all we needed to do. And they back out taking that loss and we're taking that win let's keep it moving here next game what are we going to see with that star raptor a shadow dragonite this is fine we will be able to outpace them as far as winning that cmp we do have higher attack so we will be able to continuously throw this before them here and we're just going to stay here i do believe like every dragon i encountered with my star raptor they double shielded which is not a problem no problem it's fine but uh, you oh, okay okay always opposite of what i say of course it's not going to happen when i say it though right so they're going to be swapping in there or bringing in their nido queen we're going to go ahead and bring in the chrysalia as we're going to be able to take these hits a lot better right so they're going straight for the earth power no problem and we're going to go ahead and just throw this moon blast here do believe this is going to be something weak to it oh a primate sounds good to me not even going with annihilate going with the uh old school original kanto here gonna go ahead and farm them down and go straight for the shadow ball here as we are going to be able to outpace them plus the quick move is doing a ton of damage so by the time i get there it will be able to one shot we're just going to go ahead and call this earth power here shielding it up and that's exactly what they went for right away going for another shadow ball but we don't even need to hit the bubbles because they backed out and we take that win all right let's keep it going here Star Raptor into Jellison, another decent matchup as they are going to be Ghost, but they are going to be able to spam us with that Surf. Highly doubt that they do have Ice Beam, so we don't have to really worry about that. Going to go ahead and throw that Fly right away here. And this is one of the reasons why I like Fly is because you can spam it without having to worry about shielding up afterwards because of the double debuff that comes along with using Brave Bird. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just let that go as the quick move is really not going to be able to take us out. Hitting another Fly here and they let it go and we take them out sounds good they're bringing in a lantern we're just going to let it take us out there is really no point because we do have this Cresselia, which is going to be able to kind of shut it down they're going to be swapping into a freaking zygarde complete are you kidding nice this is the ultra league here so don't really see those too often pretty cool so we're going to go ahead and hit it with a moon blast they let it go which was very big we wanted to land that and now of course we're just going to go ahead and spam the disarming voice here and we're going to be looking pretty good we have one shield left. I think we're going to go ahead and shield this up because we need to get that Cresselia back aligned with the other Pokemon. And now we just about have two disarming voices here. They're shielding it up. Getting to the next one. Don't think this is going to be enough, but it is going to be bringing them down pretty low. All right, it is enough. All right, fantastic. And what we wanted is the Cresselia to be back up against the Lantern here. And this is uh, perfect. Just going to keep on spamming the Grass Knot here while that... Lantern struggles to take us out because Cresselia is just a tank. I mean, absolutely amazing. Now, what's going to be really fun is when they do release Shadow Cresselia. That's going to be interesting. Definitely going to make one of those. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. Shadow Pokemon, 
or should I say tanky Pokemon that become Shadow are absolutely amazing. So Cresselia as well as Giratina are going to be great. Next game, we're met with Diggersby here. So we can threaten them with close combat. They don't want to get hit by that. It's not going to KO, but it will do quite a bit of damage. And as their quick move is not going to be able to really do much to us, we don't have to worry about shielding up right now. I'm going for the fly after building up to two of these here. And we'll let the next one go as well. We do need to look out for a swap in and a snipe potentially. So now we're going to go ahead and throw the close combat because we are going to start shielding up after this. But actually, we're going to go ahead and catch a not very effective body slam here. So we can preserve our shield and keep the Star Raptor alive. So uh, let's see. I'm sure this is going to be a crunch now. All right. Yeah. Crunch, crunch, crunch it away. And they are shieldless. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and just start throwing the Shadow Ball here. If we can get to the Disarming Voice, highly doubt it. We'd have to shield up unless they... Oh, we, we did get there, but they just farmed us down. Son of a gun. All right. So what is the play here? Bringing in Cresselia. A Grass Knot will be enough. We don't need to go for the whole Moonblast at this point, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that, that's just, just fine. So what we're going to do is we're actually, since they're throwing all this energy... And yet again, another charge move. We're going to farm up extra so we have more energy after we do take them out. Perfect. Going to go for that Grass Knot. Not very effective, but will be enough to KO them here. Or not. Jeez Louise, are you freaking kidding me? I'm really playing with fire here. Psycho cutting them down. Still holding on to two shields. Really in a crazy situation here. Both of my Pokemon are almost KO'd and I'm still holding on to both shields. What is going on here? So they swap into Venusaur. This is incredible. This is what you call just you can't win. There's nothing you can do. So I throw Fly, take out their Venusaur, and then I get to the close combat. I wasn't trying to flex on not using a shield. That's just the way it worked. Pretty crazy. But eh, that's how you do it. Let's go Star Raptor team. Okay, next game. What do we have going on here? All right, well, there you go. Now the game says, ah, ah, we gotta shut you down, boy. You're doing a little too much with that Star Raptor. So they throw a freaking Shadow Zapdos at me, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and build up here, go for the Grass Knot, and we get a shield out of them. Let's get it, let's go. All right, so this is gonna, you know, do some good damage. Oh, Zap Cannon, okay, well, freaking hell. Uh, yeah, just the strongest electric move coming from a Shadow Zapdos. So yeah, that's going to do quite a bit of damage. So we go for the Moonblast and actually get the attack drop, which is great. And now we're just going to go ahead and throw the Grass Knot here just for good measure before they take us out with a Body Slam or something like that. I would assume they're going to throw that. They don't need to go Crunch. All right, yeah, Body Slam. So they're down a shield. Sounds good. So we're going to go ahead and bring in Skeleturge here. Uh, they're probably going to throw a Crunch at me. Yeah, there you go. Just want to hold on to that Star Raptor as the Skeletors can actually take these hits here. We will shield up this next Crunch though. Uh, build up a little bit of energy. All right, never mind. We're just going to throw the Disarming Voice immediately. I don't think this is going to even KO. Yeah, so what the hell am I doing? Was trying to catch. I don't know for why. That would have just... Uh, I guess we'd still have a decent amount of health left. All right, going to go ahead and throw the Disarming Voice on the um, Zapdos there. We're going to let this go, and it's all about the Star Raptor now, okay? Let's get it. So they have one shield left. Let's see what we can pull off, and they have a Polyrath in the back. Since we have our energy built up, we're looking pretty okay. We do have to look out for a potential catch. I'm not too sure where the switch clock is at this point, but if they do catch, we could be in some trouble as we waste our energy there. So let's see what happens. No catch. Fantastic. And this is going to pretty much take out the Polyrath. And right, right, for sure, take them out. And we take the win with the Star Raptor. Hell yeah. Let's go. Next game. We got a couple more here. We met with a Cresselia. So uh, Moonblast is going to hurt. But yeah, I don't know. Looks like I was trying to catch one, but it wasn't actually going to happen there. So they retreat with energy on their Cresselia. We retreat with energy on our Star Raptor. And now we're locked in here up against a shiny Shadow freaking Charizard, which we just get shut down by. Except for, look how much Moonblast did. Yeah. So we'll shield up that Blast Burn. That's a good thing. It was Blast Burn, and we called that there. Going for another Moonblast, and they're going to shield it up. We can survive a Blast Burn at this point, and a Moonblast will KO. So let's see what they want to do if they want to double shield that thing. Cresselia is just too damn good, folks. Cresselia is just too good. Going for the Moonblast, taking out the Charizard. They're bringing in Greninja. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get to that Grass Knot, but that's okay because they are going to be throwing their energy here. And we have the Star Raptor. So we're going to go for the close combat right away here so we can get that shield or they're going to let it go and bring in their Cresselia. We swap into our Skeledurge and if they don't have Future Sight, oh, they have Future Sight. Of course they have Future Sight. Nobody wants to get locked in there up against a Skeledurge anymore, I suppose. 
All right, so this is interesting because I had a bunch of energy. All right, we're shieldless at this point. We need to get this shield. Let's go. Will a future site KO us at this point? Uh, we might barely survive. Let's see what happens here. No, we're not. That's not freaking good. But since this Star Raptor is not Shadow, we don't have to really worry about getting KO'd here. All we have to do is get to another fly and we'll be able to take the win. And folks, and there you have it. Star Raptor, one of the most amazing Pokemon. Really fun to use and it's spicy. Give it a shot. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and take care. Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.